Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, we just went on a simple uh, long adventure. Well, was it was it a long one? It might be in a medium, but either way, we went on a single adventure and we basically just kind of leveled up a few people that were a little under level and we brought out sick and things like that. And I think it went really well. Uh, I, I've sort of learned some of the classes a little more and been experimenting and sort of finding out different builds. And I think we're really sort of get, getting to know these builds, which is really, really important actually, because as we move into these sort of next level bosses which we're going to be doing in the next few episodes things are going to get a lot harder the level three missions are significantly harder and it's going to be where we start actually really fearing for the life of our heroes so let's get into the town and see what we have to do here we are in the cursed estate and we are back ready to go out again we just went out and sort of leveled a bunch of people up we are getting really close to getting pretty much everyone up to level three i think this time we're going to try and get octavia leo Havarad uh up to up to scratch i think <sighs> mars and red are still really sort of up in the air for me i still don't really know where they fit in but everyone else i really want to get up trell's currently away so we can't level him up yet um Something we do need to do is start upgrading some skills and stuff of people, but I want to kind of put that off for as long as possible. Let's see what we got here. Crusader, the Holy Orders. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Um, that's pretty interesting as well. Got some decent stuff here. Uh, the Wield here, we've got a long mission. Um, this is pretty interesting for Wraith here. Plus 15 bleed chance, 66 bleed amount when applied, and 66 bleed duration received. So when we when we get bled, it hurts us a lot. But um, extra bleed amount applied versus bleeding sounds very interesting. Uh, this is only a level one mission, so maybe not the best of ideas to go for. Maybe we want to go for something like this. Although um, I don't really think that's a great reward there. Uh, extra stress here on our musketeer. Got a short adventure here that's um, just for a, a quick little. Agile, agility whistle into the Warrens. I think we'll go for a short one to the Warrens. See if we can get people leveled up. So let's go with Havarad, Leo, Victoria. We could risk it and take... We could risk it and take ourself, um, take ourselves Octavia, Octavia as our healer and buff up her healing as much as possible, but that's still only going to result in heals of three, and I don't know how good that's going to be. Um, you've still got the solar addiction. Might spend a turn healing self. That's fine. Um, I don't know. Can we can we afford to bring Octavia here? I do really want to bring her out today and get her leveled up. But as a healer, it doesn't make much sense. Unless we can bring another person with off healing abilities. Do we have anyone? Let's let's just check. Do we have anyone else in level two that has an off heal ability? So you have your own off heal. That's fine. It's only for four, but that's fine. Um, on attack hit, heal one HP, drain masses minus two percent healing skills. Okay, that's not great. Cure bleed. Yeah, we don't really have any great healing skills here. Chasey, we know she doesn't have healing skills. Trell is away. We can't use Trell. Tavia. Linus doesn't... You don't, unless it's self-heal. And Red here. Um, she has this, which is going to give minus 50 healing received. Minus 50 healing. Healing received. Stress healing for two rounds. Inspire an extra turn. Healing received. Oh, we don't we don't really have anyone that fits into this role, which is a real shame, really, because we do we do need one. <laughs> we do really need one. Um, admittedly. But I do want to take Octavia out with us. But the thing is, if we come across the collector, it could be really bad for us if we bring out Octavia and don't have some, some bona fide good healing here. Um how does this work? Drain masses. So it's, it's it does bleed. On attack hit, she heals herself for one. She self shuffles, and she debuffs herself with minus healing. The self shuffle seems a bit sort of difficult to work around, so I don't really know about that. But I don't know. We we can't. Surely we we can't get away with um 
with that. Let's let's bring out Joseph uh, Hare here and try try Joseph out. I know that obviously he is a level three. It, it is unfortunate we're going to have to bring out a level three. I'd rather just level up level twos. But we're at the point now where a lot of our level twos, unfortunately don't really have a choice in the matter they have to go out with a level three so let's uh let's trink it up here um we can take this didn't we get some healing base that was it we got the restoration amount that we don't actually apply any restoration here so that's fine um hmm i need to work with that around that at some point as well the moon watcher acolyte relic i haven't really worked with that before it seems interesting. Minus 100% versus Mirage. I still don't really know much about, but it seems interesting nonetheless. So, you want to just take your healing skills. So that's fine. So we'll get, um... We'll, we'll, we'll put both of the healing ones on you. Do you know what? We will. We will. Um... Plus 30% stress healing received. Wow. That's really good. And then we've also got... We should sell one of these. Uh, let's do that now, actually. There you go, sell one of them. There, put that on you as well. So you've got the, your healing skills. You've got your incredible, incredible um, combo of the key. Let's let's go to uh, class, class-based class restriction ones. And then... Te so, is it better to go with the, the t extra 20% stun chance? Or is it better to get three speed? I think it's probably better to get three speed so we can stun every single time on first turn. In my opinion, at least, we'll, we'll we'll try that out and see how that see how that works out. Um, you we we want to buff your crit chance as high as possible and buff your accuracy. So the uh, focus ring is always going to be good on you. Um, and anything else that we can buff your crit with or accuracy, uh, move skill chance plus accuracy is kind of decent, but not the best in the world. What else have we got that can buff your crit a little bit? We don't really need the speed on you, so maybe we'll just go with these. Yeah, let's go with that and just go for the really high crit chance on you. And that's going to be good. You're set up, you're set up. And then Victoria here. Victoria is going to be doing a nice amount of damage here. A nice amount of damage. So let's, uh, let's get her set up with some damaging moves, shall we? Do you know what? We'll go with the slime jar, actually, just to keep her health topped up a little easier. And then... Where are we going into? We're going into the Warrens. We're going into the Warrens, so that means we're going to be fighting beasts, I think. So we could just take the the lower dodge for the beast damage. I think it's beasts in the Warrens, isn't it? I'm going to check. I keep forgetting, and I, I promise I will remember eventually. But I'm pretty sure it's beasts in the Warrens, isn't it? Be beast, 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 beast. Yes, it's beasts. It's beasts. So we'll take the extra beast damage, and I think this should be a pretty decent party, even if we are bringing Joseph Hare, which isn't ideal. But he's going to stay the front line and be using Rupture to work with Infuse. And then one thing we're going to do just before we, we venture out is just check up on all of these guys' skills. So we'll do this real quick and make sure that everyone is uh, all up to scratch on their skills. Right, Havarad isn't here. So he's taking... He's got these bottom two and these top two. It just means everyone's up to scratch. And we'll do the same for armor as well and just check. But I'm pretty sure armor's fine. Everyone here I see is level three and level four. So armor should be fine. Good, good, good. I'm glad that I've been remembered to do that. Uh, another thing as well. Apparently our Helion doesn't have the right costume on. So let's see if we can get the right Helion costume. I know that it was one that had the shorter axe and the, the arm cut off. So I think it was one of the ones we just went past then. I think it was this one here, wasn't it? You have to correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was this one for Felfa. Um, I'll have to I'll have to look into that. But thank you for mentioning that. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, so let's pop up into the warrants here. We do have the um the the slay the boss here. Strange ghost terrorizing. Wait. Oh, no, that isn't birth. Okay. Okay, good. So we do have that boss to go for. Let's go into a short mission here and see what we can get done. We'll be taking 14 food, three shovels. We'll just take three of everything. And 14 of these. Good, good. I think we're good to go. We do have a diary entry here. This one here is for, from TEA, and this is for our...
Snake Charmer Verona. I talked to Ryan about occult practices. How I initiated the conversation is not important. I learned about his own attempts to bring back the dead. Not going into much detail, but he informed me that it's important to have a host ready for the one that you bring back or you will be bringing back the soul into an incorporeal form. I questioned him for more information, but he didn't know anything important for my particular situation. We have been here a year, and I've made zero progress towards returning my family and friends to their human forms. They are agitated. I'd imagine they would be if they were stuck in snakes' bodies. Explore 90% of rooms. Actually, literally no reason to explore that room. Go here. But yeah, I want to get a few adventures in today, so I thought going on a short one here would be good. It's also a good way to bring in some new uh, members, and uh, let's just go for a stun straight off the bat. It's a good way to bring in some new members, but also a really good way to um, to get some new trinkets and things like that. Oh my god, 12 damage, that's huge. Activate repose here. I love the fact that that gives a block as well. Victoria is such a cool character. And by the way, guys, another thing as well. Shall we? Shall we wait, or shall we? Or should we do it like pretty soon in, on um, setting up our? Did he really resist that stun? Impressive. Um, should we wait, or should we do it pretty soon on activating the Crimson Court? Because I've been I've been thinking about it and sort of looking into it, and we definitely should start doing it soon. Um, it seems like we're about ready for it. Nice one, nice one. Yeah, it seems like we're about ready for it. Uh, so it would be an interesting idea to get that started up. And maybe do some stuff with that. And also that would sort of trigger some of the story for a few of these people. Such as Victoria. Just go straight away on you. I love the fact that that does good damage as well. Nice strike, Victoria. Ooh, we've been marked. That's, that's fine though. I do love the fact that, that Joseph Hair here is so good as an offensive as well as a healer. Applied restoration to himself and skip turn. It's unfortunate, but it's not terrible. We can deal with it. A little bit of stress coming in for everyone there. We can deal with stress. Um, let's just set up repost here. Just set up repost. And do you know what? We'll set it up on you as well. I love setting up repost. And then this thing we can most likely kill. Didn't quite there, but it has the chance to, even without the damage buff. I'm going to finish you off. Nice crit there, Leo. Nice crit. I wonder if Leo and Mary have been seeing much more of each other. I'll have to find out in his diaries in the coming days. If that's the case. Look at that creature. Abscond. It just disappeared. Did nothing. Didn't want, to, didn't want to stick around for what we had to show. But yeah, I've been loving the character development so far. And we do have more of the Dismas and Trell story coming up as well, which I, I'm really looking forward to reading a little more about. Um, the story that um, that Cell crafts for her characters is really in-depth, and I, I'm really liking it. I know we have quite a lot of characters, actually, that don't have too much of a built-up story, but when we've got near to 70 people in our group, it makes sense that some of them won't be as interesting or as involved as some of the others. We've got some specific characters that we go into depth with, but some of them don't have much of a backstory. I'd really like to build onto Joseph a little more. Joseph's one of my characters that I, uh, that I created, and I want to make a diary entry for him. All right, let's have a little look here. Um... We could probably need to get rid of any of these ones here. So Joseph has the easiest one. Pressure. Uh, that's not too bad. Keep our stress low. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go with Joseph here. You can do this one. What do we get rid of? Zuphobia. That's pretty good. I like that one. That's uh, that's the beasts one, which helps out while we're here. Actually, helps out while we're here a lot. So nice one there, Joseph. Nice one. Keep on moving through. We haven't done a short mission in a little while, actually. That's the double trap dodge for uh, Havarad here. I think Havarad has been doing a good job of sort of learning the ways around the traps. And I think... I, I like to think that Linus is like... He's always sort of... In his backstory, he's always sort of said that he doesn't really like to... to to the, what he does, creating traps and uh, and having to get involved in the battle and the war. But I like the fact that he's using the skills of, of the trap maker's art to teach the rest of the town folk. And that's why he doesn't come on too many missions. Here's the collector. That's why he doesn't come on too many missions, because he's... 
he's um just getting involved with with everyone in town and helping them. Okay. I'm going to set you up, actually, now. Ready. We should be able to stun him again. Nice. That's another stun. He should be dead here, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, no, Havarad! You dick! Wait, the next stun? Oh, I did resist that one. But there you go, he's dead. <laughs> the collector has been bested. And we got ourselves a rock. A big old rock. The Collector really isn't threatening with Leo on the team. To be fair, bigger enemies aren't threatening with Leo on the team. Leo is such a powerhouse for us, and he has been training, training his ass off with this, this chain here. He knows what he's doing with it. It deals good damage, and it always lands a stun. Blanket fire, and we all dodged. Nice. Nice resist there. Nice dodge. Okay, I think we go with the, uh, the repose here based on the amount of enemies and blanket fire, things like that. We'll just finish you off with 27. I forgot that we still had the 320% extra damage. Holy hell. Go for the stun on you. Yeah, there you go. There's that repost. Should have acti I activated it on Joseph as well, actually, thinking about it. We'll do that now. We need to heal ourselves anyways. I like the way he holds his, his beastly arm. Oh, unfortunate Victoria. Okay, that is getting kind of annoying. The fact that he keeps healing himself for... Not, it's not even that he's healing himself. He's healing himself for such a low amount. One HP for three rounds and he skips an entire turn. We could do to... We could do to get away with that. Like, do away with the solar thingy. It's interesting, but it's not great for us. But this just makes me think that we haven't really needed a healer at all. Like, everyone's fine for health. I could have just brought, um... Victoria, not Victoria here, um, Octavia. Let's get rid of one of yours. I know you've got some bad ones. Anxious is decent, but not the best one to get removed. Oh, what the hell's this thing? Have we seen one of these before? I think we have, but I don't know what it does. I, I, I want it dead. I want it dead now. Let's just swipe it until it's gone. Um, no, we'll, we'll, we'll set up the fuse. Light the fuse and get ready to go with that. A little bit of blight coming in, most likely, but we resisted and resisted again. Lovely. You get stunned again, sir. Your stun resisting means nothing to me. I don't care if you're stun resist. There you go. You are down. Let's just swipe the body, get that out of the way, pull these guys to the front. Havarad, you are going to go for a shot now, aren't you? Please don't heal. Please don't heal, Havarad. Go for a shot. There we go. Kaboom. Instant death. Havarad can do such insane damage with this two-move combo. It's crazy. I love the fact that Leo... That's all he does now. He whips things with a chain. And that is all, sirs. That is all. Let's just snuff out the light real quick and open this up. Try we have the chance. Cool. And back we go. Very quick little, uh, little delve. There. Not exactly the most lucrative thing in the world. But we did level everyone up. And that's the sort of thing that we need to be doing. Quick little level ups. Um, plus 10 dodge mice. That's actually pretty good. Like, I like that. I like that a lot. Right, let's, uh, let's quickly unequip all our trinkets. Make sure these guys have been taken out of the roster. And let's have a little look who we've got here. So, we do have a level 4, a level 4 arsonist. Which is interesting. I've been liking our arsonist here. So, our arsonist Ash... Coming in at level four now. Of the all consuming power of fire and feats of unhinged cunning. There we go. And we're gonna be getting rid of the fits there as well, which is nice. We don't have to pay to get rid of that anymore. So we'll dismiss old ash here. Bring in new ash. We do have a, a level um, three Twilight Knight as well, which I believe our Twilight Knight is already level three, so that's not going to make too much of a difference. Let's check on our trinkets, see what we have available. We have a lot of cards available, which is nice. Um Hmm. I'm going to take that. That seems pretty good. Um, 15 damage, 5 dodge, and 5... Um, 10 times damage received. Extra stress healing from gambling, brothel, and bar. Interesting. Don't really need to buy that, though, I don't feel like. Um, and we need to keep checking up on these, because if we see one that is truly, like, 
beyond godly, we have to take it. Uh, we've got here an honor melee attack hit bleed. That's pretty interesting. Extra damage of target. Ooh, the finisher. That's pretty interesting. Damage and accuracy of targets below 40% HP. That could be really good. Uh, blight skill chance, less stress. Mana arms here. We've got the extra prop, maximum HP and guard duration. I like the ones that are, that are sort of all encompassing and can work with any of them. Um, that's insane. The well tuned loot. Minus 20% stress and plus 30% stress healing. That, that's super tempting to buy. Super, super tempting. Uh, leper only. 20% healing received. Decent. Uh, that's a pretty good catch-all one, but that is 20% extra stress. Domination. Extra melee skill. On melee attack hit. Extra bleed. Leper only. That's also a pretty decent leper one there. And 10 dodge at death door is pretty nice. Minus 200... Okay, that's that's for the Scarecrow. I was wondering what that was then. Okay, there's some interesting ones there. Let's uh, let's see what we want to do next. See if we can uh, get another level up here. Like I said, these episodes have been a little slow as of late and been a little uh, a little more sort of I don't know, just slow pace while we've been leveling people up. But it's all sort of for a good reason. I feel like it's not like we're just wasting time here. It's it's for a it's for a proper reason. Um. Minus 10 damage if Torch is above 51. Ooh, the Dark Bracer. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think we'd use it all that much. But at the same time, it's probably a decent one to go for. Um, how much XP do we even get for a short one here? Um, I think, I think we should, we'll get enough to level these guys up. So let's take these three. But you can... You can probably do well from up front, can't you? Yeah. You're a bit you're a bit squishy, but we'll we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. We've got these two extra blighted things here. Well actually we've got three blighted. Wow. All to do with being blighted. Interesting. Um Octavia here can do a bit of healing and blighting. There's another one into the Warrens, actually, and we do have the chance at the Collector as well, so we've got to be aware of that. Um, you should be good with that, and then we need to bring a Healer as well, so... Let's... Who are we going to bring? Who are we going to bring? We could bring Rhine. Rhine's a, a decent off-healer. But probably not super reliable. Actually, you know what? We'll bring Rhine anyways. We'll bring Rhine anyways. Oh, he won't, he won't pair with... Um, with one of the people in here. I'm imagining it's Chasey. I imagine he does not want to pair with Chasey, so... Makes sense. Makes sense to me. We do have Maggie we could bring, although she's already a little leveled into level 3. I want to bring someone that's really not too leveled up through level 3 yet. Um, Ruby Smith and Elise, Isaac, Verona. We... We don't have many healers. I'm going to say this. We don't have many healers at all. <laughs> like, all of our healers are up here, look. <laughs> like, halfway through level 3. It's it's difficult to, to, to really make a build out of this when all of our healers are so high level. Uh, maybe we'll take William. William's a decent healer. William won't go either. Such child's play. Uh, he won't go because it's a level 1 quest. Of course. Of course. Makes sense. Take 100% of room battles. I really want to risk it without a healer. I really want to risk it without a healer. But at the same time, I know how badly this could go. I know how badly this could go. <sighs> hmm. It's 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 a re this is a really difficult situation at the moment. Really difficult situation. We got ourselves stuck where we can't really level up. People need to level up. <sighs> hmm. Maybe we go for this and then bring bring Ryan anyways. Right. So Ryan doesn't Ryan have some specific uh 
Sort by class. Yeah, he has this one here, which we always want to take. And... He wants the plus healing. Yeah. Just to get him as a as a nice little healer there. Uh, okay, we probably we can probably put a little bit extra healing on you actually as well. Wait, how much health do you have? Twenty seven. Your dodge is pretty high. Let's let's just go and have a little look see at this. Sort by rarity. Represent healing skill plus thirty five debuff resist minus five crit uh, minus twenty maximum HP. Nah, I'd, I'd rather put that on you. You can get slightly more healing. Slightly more dodge. I think that's fine. Uh, what else do we want on you? Probably the protection based things. So let's go with like... Actually, let's just counteract that with some max HP and prot, shall we? Then Ryan, you're set up and fine. Okay, so you're, you're going to be doing most of our damage here. We're going into the ruins. So I'm pretty sure we don't have one that affects the ruins, do we? The Eldritch Beast. Yeah, we don't really have anything for that. Do we want Chasey in this position here? I don't think we do. Uh, Chasey? What, what, what? Chasey, where'd you go? Chasey? Chasey, where are you? <laughs> Where'd you go? Because she can only she can only use that from back there. Hmm. This is we we kind of want to use her as, as like a combat ready one, but I don't know if that's gonna be a good idea. Um, let's go with slime jar on you, and what else should we give you? Maybe we'll give you the extra accuracy and speed after the first round. Do you have anything you can do to yourself on the first round? 100% crit versus bleeding. 100% armor piercing versus blight. That's pretty interesting. Um, let's let's put that on there. Oh, we can only do that from the back line, though. Can't do that from position one. Okay, she's just, whatever she does, she's going to have a move that she can't do from position one, so... I guess we just take I guess we just take that anyways, don't we? And we give her I never know how to shrink it, Chasey. Chasey's the highest one to shrink it. We just what do we give her? I don't know. You can have the focus ring, okay? And then you can have this. Because you're gonna be better after the first round. And you can also have... Hmm. What else can you have? Do you, do you just want some prot? Would prot just be nice for you? It might well be. It might well be that prot helps you out a lot. Or could go with this for the extra damage. Yeah, let's go with that for the extra damage. Let's try that out. I'm a little worried about this. A little worried this is a bit of an odd group. Especially with Octavia here. But let's let's try it out, shall we? And we'll move on to another diary entry as well. So let's get ourselves 20 food for them. Three, 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 three. Nope. Three and 20 of them. Okay, let's back. Next next iron to here is uh, another one by Cell. This is for Dismas. I've made it to my hometown. Unsurprisingly, nobody recognizes me, nor cares to try. This place was always dreary, but it looks like a party compared to the hamlet. It took some willpower to go to my former house, and just like I expected, the place was abandoned and in shambles. My old gambling habits drained our safe dry. I think I'll explore the ruins of it in a few days. Trell was able to get a room at the nearby inn, and that's where we'll be staying. And then we have another one coming up from Trell as well. Right. Let's go through. Gather three holy relics. I'm genuinely pretty... Pretty scared of this quest. I feel like this group is pretty ill-prepared. Apart from Ryan, of course. Ryan knows exactly what he's doing in the ruins. 
But everyone else is a little ill prepared here. Um, ooh, secret room. Very nice. Um, we don't need to go this way at all. And so we won't. <laughs> Simple as. We will not do that because we don't have to. Nice. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of that. Open up the space already because I know, I know I'm not going to keep it. I know I'm not going to keep it. Uh, trap the sound. Wow, Morgana. You have been training up. Morgana at Ermine Seeker is another person that's, that's uh, got a little bit of a sort of more unfamiliar story. Also, I just realized I didn't use Octavia to open that uh, thing. Then I probably should have done that. Go for that. Wow. Whip for the straight up damage there. And let's go for that there. Extra damage against the Eldritch. Do you know what? Let's just do the buffing. Oh, I didn't check the upgrades on everyone, did I? Whoops. I should have checked the upgrades on everyone. Make sure people were actually ready for this. Um, silent Curse. I can move forward. Force Guard by Ally. We can steal dodge, but we haven't any dodge to steal. And give a mark there as well. I'm just going to go for that so we don't get uh, targeted. And we're going to keep buffing dodge here. Stab coming in there. Don't have much we can do. Chasey is literally here to level up right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Nice crit. Our main damage dealer here is in fact Morgana. She is gonna be doing a lot of the heavy lifting. One minute. Does she have any... No, she doesn't. Uh, yeah, she's gonna be doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Okay, got you. And again, got you. And let's keep going with this. Just keep uh, keep buffing that. Oh, we can't hit you from here. Mm, that's a shame. I'm just going to do that for a minute. Let's just do this really quick. And finish you off. That, that means we're not going to take damage either. Nice. Right. Rearrange. Make sure we're always looting with you. Although we don't need to loot this. So. This um, Purge Evil. I think Purge is curses. Not curses, but stress, sorry. Uh, so we'll just leave that for now. Nice. Wow. We've got some good stuff here. Uh, let's, t let's get rid of... Medical herbs. Even when we just use the medical herbs to get into that, I'm going to do that anyways. And a few stress dealers here. Take that guy out immediately. Unfortunately, didn't actually work. Was really hoping to avoid that right there. Wow. That's bad. That's, that's real bad. A heal for six isn't great. Stop hitting her. <laughs> she can't. Take it. Oh my god. Disable stress skill on you. It missed. You just hit it like 18 times in a row. You absolute dumb. Oh. You hit it like 18 times in a row. You're going to die. Chasey, don't die. There you go. <laughs> That'll save you. Holy hell, Chasey. Why? My god. How are we taking on so much stress here? Just stop them. <laughs> stress is getting way too high for my liking. Also, do, do we not have moves that can hit the front? Very bad for us. Very bad for us indeed. We don't, we don't really have anyone that can hit the front line. I personally say that's pretty bad. Leave her alone. She's so weak. <laughs> oh my god. She's not even marked. Leave her alone. Chasey, why do they bully you so much? Also, plus 33 dodge. And you can't even dodge a single attack. I swear. Nice crits there. Crazy. Chasey, you're going to die if you're not careful. I swear you are. 
Um, give me that. God damn it, Chasey. You're meant to know what you're doing. Okay, yeah, hunger check. That's not too bad. Please let us get a critical scout again here and find ourselves all of the uh, objectives we need. There's one of them. We'll get that on the way back. Another one of them. Wow, we are we are going to be rich as hell after this quest. We're gonna we're gonna sleep when we get back to this. There's another one. If this could be the third one, right? That's that's amazing for us right now. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna leave those for now. I think everything else is like like slightly more important right now. If this could be the third one, this would be so good. It's not. Don't don't like the look. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Um, I think we just go for the heal here. Make sure you don't die. The light resist is really high. Boss guard by ally. Let's just do this. I'm just gonna try and take this thing out. It's so tough. Oh, really? You missed Chasey? You are absolutely 100% letting down the squad right now. Chasey is normally so strong. Also, the five heals. Please, with the five heals. Oh, my God. My God. Defensive stance. I don't know how we're going to beat this thing. This thing's as beefy as all hell. Oh, this is stressful. This is very stressful now. Right, heal for more than... Yeah, there you go. 18, that's what we need. That's what we need. Step back. We need to be able to do our vapors. At least he keeps taking turns to switch stances. Oh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. We need to finish off this guy. Bring him to the front also helped immensely. And stunning him. It'll be good too if we can do that, which we can't. Oh, nice dodge, nice dodge. Adaption again. Whoa, what the, what the hell mode's this? Nice, the 20 heal. That's what we need to see. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Okay, get both of you marked. Don't know what that's going to do for us, but we'll do it. Nice crit. And even some healing from the slime jar there as well. Just going to keep going on this. Three? You heal for three? Seriously? We need, we need that dodge. We need that dodge scaling up. Defensive. Still smacks her and stuns her. God damn it. <laughs> At least Chasey's like our most useless member right now. He's going to take so unbelievably long. He's at 35 prot. This lowest prot. Let's do this. Uh, while he's in this mode, he has damage reflect as well, which is rather annoying. Dirt stunner. Oh my god, no. He's had damage. This, this group does not work. I can say that for a fact. We need to heal her. 18. Lovely. At least we're getting those big heals right now. And we need dodges. We need dodges like crazy. Why, we got so much dodge. Why can't we dodge anything? Why are you the most accurate thing in the... God damn well, she's already stunned. Leave her alone. Oh my god, this thing's so beefy. Chasey, don't die. Chasey, don't die. No, the, the heal for three Rhine, please. Chasey's gonna die. Chasey's gonna die. Heal for four! Rhine, please. Ryan, please. Oh my god, Ryan. No! Thank god for the dodge, finally. Oh my god, Chasey's so useless in this combat. Chasey, please don't die. 36, she's back from the brink. She comes back. 
This thing is insane. I have to say. I'm going to heal you. Stop with the cleave. Please, no. Morgana, don't you die. Don't die, Morgana. No, she's dead. Oh my god, she... We got a death blow resist for the first time ever on the entire series. And there's a heal for 19. Okay, back from the brink. Holy hell. Has this been stressful? Stop cleaving everyone. It's change mode. It's been forever since you changed mode. Stop cleaving everyone. Most stressful thing ever. Just, I wish Chasey wasn't so damn useless at the minute. <laughs> Oh, well, she's gotta be. Ow. Also, I wish this dodge did something. Cleave just keeps hitting us. Stop laughing at him, Chasey. Two! Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan, please. Hitting for two? Hitting for two, Ryan, really? Onslaught, that's gonna hurt. We're all pretty weak now. Oh, my God, I needs it more, but he doesn't want to heal. There we go. My God, that was brutal. Brutal. Holy shit. Right. Oh, my God. Prevent nighttime ambush party minus 10 stress. That's pretty good. We don't have the, the produced trinket, unfortunately. All companions plus stress. No, no, no. Nice. Um, plus 15 stress, one companion plus damage. I'm going to take that. And self only. One companion minus 9% damage. Do you know what? Let's just do that. And. Okay. I guess we'll just do that. And that'll do us. Holy heck. A blazing star is born. Keep going back through. I'm I'm deeply, deeply afraid. Wealth beyond measure. Wait, could uh, if we loot this with um with Octavia, can we sometimes get extra relics and things from this? That'd be great. I don't think we can though, because it's a quest curia. We'll try it though. We'll see if it works. Doesn't seem to. Right, we'll take that for that. Right, we've got four more rooms. Let's just hope we find it as a curio along the way in a room. We only have one more food check available as well. Please don't do it. Please don't make us food check. Right, it's empty. I'm just deeply scared. There it is. Okay, we only need to get through one more bit of combat. Insta kill the stress dealer. Can't believe we had two Death Star checks and one actual Death Star hit. That was very scary. Very scary indeed. Power. We need to make sure he doesn't observe one of us. Uh, do you know what? She's she's doing it. She's going in. Harvesting swipe. Nice bit of dodge going on. You can finish you off. Oh, that bled everyone as well. Very nice. Nice crit there. And there you go. Another nice crit. Nice way to finish it off, guys. Chasey, you really proved yourself towards the end there. You really did. My god, was that stressful. This is about to be the payday of the century.
the payday of the century. 37,000. Also, everyone has severe mood swings. Probably want to get rid of Caprazius there. Uh, but that was really good. Everyone got up to level 3 there. Really like to see it. Okay. It will not last. Let's uh, de-trinket everyone. Make sure these guys are all boom, boom, and boom. Right. Anyone else new coming on? Oh, we got a snake charmer for Rona up to level four. Great. Rona is leveling up. We do need to make sure she's the right color. There you go. Verona. I'm pretty sure that's the second time we've replaced Verona now. There you go. She's leveled up. Trap Maker. Linus has leveled up as well. Imagine if we brought someone in and they had the, the right name. Linus. I'm pretty sure he's the right version anyways. Yeah, he is. And there you go. Nice level up some people there. And let's check again here. What have we got? For Fury, we have some interesting stuff. Helion. Um, ooh, that's kind of interesting. When Torch is really low, we can do some interesting stuff. Uh, Dark, the face of Demise. Minus 50 HP damage suffered from all skills. Plus 30% resistance at Death's Door. Plus fit... The minus 25 maximum HP is actually pretty good. Brings us down to Death Star easier. Exorcist. Stress healing skills. Pro and plus stress. Sisters, blight and bleed chance. Interesting. Beastmaster. Um, scouting while in the wield. That makes a lot of sense for him, actually. Uh, Dark Wraith. Friendly skill. Stealth to Torch Blood 25. Do you know what? I'm going to buy another one of them. That's also really good. I'll take that, too. Interesting stuff there. Right. Any of these that, are, that take our fancy is there. Let's have a look. Highwayman. We don't need that. We've already got a really good Highwayman one. A lot of afflicted things for the Bounty Hunter. On a melee attack self, stress plus 15. That's kind of an interesting build there. I don't know how useful that would be. That, that, that is kind of interesting. 20% damage and bleed versus bleed uh damage and crit versus bleeding that could be very powerful uh extra virtue chance extra skill healing occultist gaining damage to get into rage skills crit for range skills idol of purity plus 33 percent healing skills and minus 15 stress i think i have to buy that because of how insanely good it is Also, that's really good. Minus 50% stress. Wow. Plus 20% max HP on melee attack, stealth, stress minus 10. Also really good. Extra healing received. There's some just phenomenal trinkets here. Phenomenal. Eagle Eye, I might buy as well. But this one I have to buy. Do you know what? I'm going to buy Eagle Eye too. I'm going to buy both of those. Pulls us down to 100,000, but obviously we're fine at 100,000. But that's really good. And now we've only got three people at level two. We're finally ready to get on the bosses. So please, please, please leave me as many um, boss combo suggestions as you can. We can bring level fours if you want. We can bring level threes. It really, it's, it's really up to you guys. We can bring whoever we want. Um, and yeah, there is going to be some sort of grindy parts of this game where we spend like... Maybe even 10 episodes leveling people up, but that's all part of building the story and having fun with the game. I feel like it helps us get to know our characters, get to know different builds, and we can try out different combinations each time and really get to know everyone. And we're always going to be bringing new people in via the stagecoach as well, so I feel like it's pretty good. I think one thing I am going to do in the future, if you guys are okay with it, is maybe bring on a few more Vestals. As, as dedicated healers just because i feel like if we, if we take a look if we go over our entire roster we have 
Let's count Rune as one, because Rune has really good healing. One, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have 13. I, I, I might have missed one or two. We have... Let, let's say we have 15. We have 15 healers out of our crazy high. So, 15 healers out of, let's say, pretty much 70. That's crazy. Like, we need more healers. So, I may be thinking of allowing us, although I said I wasn't going to, allowing us to bring on one or two more Vestals. Just to round out some groups, I don't want to rely on Vestals. I don't want to constantly be using just Vestal for healing. But something you might you might notice here, if we go to sort by character, let's have a look at this. Um, look at this. Minus a total of 25% stress. And plus a total of 66% healing skill. The best thing ever. The best thing ever. If she's going to be the, the bona fide best healer we could possibly get. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. We do have, actually, before we before we finish off, we have our entry from Trell here. Um, this is another one by Cell. Dismas has me worried. He's been looking through the books that I could have sworn he stole from Ryan. has been acting odd, to say the least. First, he told me he had an important mission outside of the hamlet. He insists I was the only one he trusted enough to come along. I hope he's alright. I think the farmstead shook him badly. I think it did too. And we even actually have another uh, journal entry again from TEA, and this one is for Manold, our banished hunter. I've gone to every single doctor in this hamlet, of which there are several. <laughs> Clearly not enough, but several. Um, likely due to the large number of injuries sustained during the expeditions. They've done everything they can to cure my condition, and the best it has done to ease it. Lift the weight off my mind, but nothing else. A doctor of disease named Isaac agreed to visit me regularly to do more research. And after taking a blood sample of mine, all I can do now is cooperate and hopefully find something. Lest I turn to less practical means of trying to cure myself. I'm sure he's going to turn to the occult soon. But yes, great little uh, story development there. A really good episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.